Hi and welcome to the Nepic Golf Day. We're here at the De Vere Hall uh, hunting course. The first member of this group is just about to drive. Uh, quite a nice starting position. A uh, couple of recommendations. I would certainly like to see the grip uh, looked at more closely and probably like to see the head a little bit more behind the ball. A bit more uh, shoulder tilt, so the shoulders look a little bit level there for me. You should have a little bit more angle that way. So tilt the head and shoulders to the right a little bit more, help you get a little bit more behind the ball. Um, let's get you moving and see what the consequence of this is. So, a couple of things here. There's been a little bit of a, a sway to the right. Now, if you got your head in that sort of position to start with, you could concentrate more on turning the body a little bit better than you do. So the hips here are limited, the shoulder turn is limited, right? It's tough to deal with. And you can see now the consequence of that. You, very difficult to get the weight transferring now to the left side because everything here is backing up. There's impact, so all the weight is down the right side left heels up in the air, left elbows folding and compromising so you look like you're in some difficulty there through the ball got to get better at transferring the weight the way forward is to improve the starting position um, Again, for me, I'd, although there's a little, this is slightly better in terms of the starting position, still would like to see the head a little bit more to the right, but let's see. Apart from that, it's pretty good. Let's see what the consequence of that is. So, plenty going on here. There's a, certainly a full turn. got a folding of the left arm here which makes the club look like it's gone into overswing and we're probably a little bit overactive in the knees here I'd like to see you become a little bit more efficient at moving in the backswing so that would be less going on with the knees certainly straight a left arm position coming into impact not too bad, but again you can see that compromised left arm and the weight distribution a little static there. Not quite as effective as I'd like to see of transferring the weight through to the left. Certainly see you're trying to uh, extend through it, but without the body there to support the extension is difficult. So you can see you've got that slightly lean back look to your action. It's not bad though, just could be a lot better. So give that some thought and uh, see if you can start moving that on. This is nice, uh, this is a nice starting position. You can see here the head's a little bit more behind the ball for a drive. Um, so nice starting position. I think we can get you moving straight away. A little forward press. And again, you can note the limited club and arm position. And this for me is due to the fact that you are really not rotating through the hips the shoulder turn is limited. You should be producing 45 degrees of hip rotation um, and if you could do that this would carry the hands and arms into a more orthodox position. If that makes sense. So just a little tight in the turn here. Nice looking positions here. 
got the hands forward, left arm looked like it's extending, so good extension through the ball there. Don't quite look again as if you've got that weight transfer to the left, as effective as you could do. And you could improve that, as we've said earlier, just by learning to turn better and then more actively transferring the weight. But nice, got a lot of potential that. final member of the group um, might be worth having the grip looked at and here again we've got a case where the head looks like it's leaning and tilting to the left prefer it right? It's certainly better if it's more set to the right, more behind the ball so you see how it's moved off slightly turn is slightly better than the last player we saw and you can see as you're coming into impact here right? there's the impact position and probably at best there the weight is about 50-50 you're trying to get more weight 60-70% to 70 more weight transferring to the left you see that back foot, the right heel here, stays rooted to the floor, doesn't allow you to rotate through. So you look a little caught through the ball there, a little trapped. I want to free that up a little bit. So get the head a little bit more behind the ball, just try and turn a little bit better and then start thinking about more actively transferring the weight to the um, left side. Hope you guys had a good day and um, uh, We'll see you again sometime soon. Bye for now.